We're hearing now the strains of the band in the background, Mr. Silly. And we're off. So the band is now marching on. And they're marching on to the peace oil, a little more oil. The officer, Peterson. Yes. And spectators, please remember, do not pass the flag that you see there. Chief Petty Officer Peterson is always standing by and watching his charges and he holds them to very high standards indeed. Yes, he does. So this afternoon we have the band led by Mr. Fabian Brown, who's carrying the mace. And the music instructor for the parade this afternoon is Mr. Carl Roach. You can get your loud applause as they recruit staff. They're your people, they're your children. <laughs> the recruits this afternoon are led by Mr. Jeffrey Banker. We acknowledge the presence of the Honorable Colin Jordan, who is one of our guests this evening. Mr. Jordan, welcome. We now await the arrival of the dignitaries. Mr. Jeffrey Banker is now reporting to the recruiting officer, Mr. Tristan Williams. With that report now completed, Mr. Williams will take over the parade. Right, the car begins its procession 
And we await to see who alights from this car this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. You may be seated. As we go into the meat of the parade, the president will take his position on the dais again, where the parade commander will report to him, and then we'll go into the inspection. President Hall now gets to inspect the parade. And I'm sure this is not the first time for the goodly president. He's a man who is well schooled in the pathfinder business. So he knows what to say, what to do, and how to step in line with the parade commander as well. That is correct. He himself was at one point a member of the band before you many years ago <laughs> many years ago
as the president now makes his way to inspect the recruits, I am made to understand that the piece that the band is playing is actually called CPO Peterson. Mr. Peterson has been around the band. He's been around the Pathfinders in Barbados for many, many, many years. And he's given yeoman service to the Seventh-day Adventist Church in this regard. And so any tribute this evening is indeed fitting for none other than Chief Petty Officer Peterson. And as the president returns to the base, I am also told that we have 39 recruits on parade this afternoon. Beautiful indeed, beautiful. So as the president returns then to the base, I'm told then that he's the person that determines if the parade goes on this evening. Yes, um, he's the one who gives the go ahead. Or no, that we can pack up early and go home. <laughs> well, the inspection having been completed, the president nods his head that we can go on. The parade commander has permission to carry on the parade. Thank you, Mr. President. You're all going to stand with heads bowed and eyes closed as we invite parent Samuel Boyne to lead us in prayer. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we are so grateful that we could be here this evening to witness a most memorable occasion. We're grateful to you, Lord, for giving us life and breath, for giving us a beautiful, bright, warm evening, for blessing us that we could come together, not only to celebrate the Pathfinder Band, but as we see 39 young individuals raise their hands in commitment to you to further spreading your gospel, to join with the band, to let others know that you exist and that you are a God of love who wants to see every one of us saved. So we pray, Lord, that you will bless this ceremony. We pray that you will continue to be with the wisdom and be the guidance that the Pathfinder Band leaders require. We not only pray for them, but as they are overseen by the East Caribbean Conference, we pray for the president and the many administrators that do their duties from day to day. But most importantly, we also pray that every one of these young people, these 39, will hear your voice distinctly every day that they will know that this voice coming behind them is guiding them and that they will continue to raise their hands in commitment and hold on to you and do their utmost for your highest. We pray as a consequence that we all will be a prepared people. And when you do come, we will be smiling and marching, not only on this field, but marching into your kingdom. We thank you for your love and we look forward to seeing what else will be displayed this evening as these young people take away their fears and calm their nervous minds, help them to do their best. For we've been waiting for this for just about a year. And we pray, Lord, that you will be with them. 
May we all enjoy being here, not only this evening, but we look forward to spending eternity with you. So we pray that you'll bless these proceedings. In Jesus' name, amen. Stand by for the March Pass. You may be seated. President in his capacity as reviewing officer this evening is going to be a very busy man. The band is playing the piece on the square. I hope you saw how the parade commander was moved so was able to move so quickly into his position at the front of the of the parade. Parents, look at your children there. Eh? Smartly deducting their Pathfinder band uniform. I think this is one of the first in case to pass out, one of the first in case to pass out in the band pack uniform. He was thinking that that is the case. Dresses the parade to ensure that everyone is in order. Welcome everyone to the Passing Up Parade Intake 16 in 2024 of the Barbados Pathfinder Band. We are moving this evening under the theme Resilience. The journey continues. Our reviewing officer this evening is none other than President of the East Caribbean Conference of Seventy Adventists, Pastor Anthony Hall.
President taking his seat. We move into the welcome remarks. The President of the East Caribbean Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, Pastor Anthony Hall. The Minister of Labor, Social Partnership, Relations, and the Third Sector, Honorable Colin E. Jordan, MP. Our Assistant Youth Director, Pastor Jason Peters. Area Coordinators for Master Guide, Elder Patrick Bryan, and Pathfinder Sister Rosman Haynes. Stewardship Director, Pastor Raul Jackman and family. The Principal of the Seventh-day Adventist Secondary School, Miss Annette Aline. The Principal of the SDA Primary School, Dr. Cheryl Weeks. The business manager of the SDA schools, Ms. Amory Boyce. The Island Development Council president, Mr. Carl Simpson. Parents, well-wishers, supporters, bandsmen, recruits. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you this evening to the Barbados Pathfinder Band Passing Out Parade Intake 16 2024 under the theme Resilience the Journey Continues. We are happy that you've taken the time out to join us here this evening at such, such an auspicious occasion. It is where our young men and women have been putting in their efforts over the past few months, or according to one parent, this evening, 13 months, 12 hours, and 10 minutes. <laughs> to ultimately become members of the Barbados Pathfinder Band. As a parent, it has been a long period of dedication and hard work on occasions like this. But this moment, and I'm sure that all the other parents would say this as well, has made it very rewarding. I remember standing in this position at the last intake where my son passed out as well. And we trust, passed out as a recruit. And parents behind me, behave yourself this evening, okay? Good. Right. So, it is, it, it is a rewarding experience, of course, and we, and we trust that this evening event inspires others, even parents, to become and remain committed to this, our very own Pathfinder Band. So this evening, I'm making a special, special request. Because I am a parent, and I have many other parents here um, gathered, whether you are a parent, a sibling, a church member, a relative, we enlist your support for the Barbados Pathfinder Band. Your continued support in your presence, in your funding, and even in your prayers. I want to say thank you to the parents who have lent us their children and their young persons who can carry on the message of the gospel in discipline and in music. Again, we say thank you. And to the recruits, you could have been anywhere else this evening, but you have chosen to be a part of this evangelistic 101 experience. Keep focused, keep steadfast, and continue to do your best always in service to God and respect for man as you witness with instruments, drill, deportment and uniformity may god bless you as you continue to work for the mastery welcome thank you sister michelle ward president of the band period association we will now have our course report by miss yvette greenwich assistant band leader the call being established i want to say good evening to everyone today is a momentous occasion 
It is a significant event for both the Pathfinder Band and the recruits. Today, the ranks of the Pathfinder Band will swell with the addition of 39 recruits. Let me hear you. Band members will now open their arms to welcome these young recruits who will need their guidance, support, training, and encouragement. The passing out parade today is a significant accomplishment of the Pathfinder Band since its resumption in 2022. From 2019 until 2022, the band was unable to function because of the restrictions of the COVID pandemic. On September 5th, 2022, a meeting was convened to elect personnel to serve as Pathfinder Band leader and assistant band leaders. A second meeting was held on October 10th to select the remaining officers who would serve as Pathfinder band officers. Over the next few months, the band embarked on various activities. We participated in various health marches. We also visited the St. Lucie District Hospital on two occasions and made a contribution to the hospital. Yes, the journey continues. As a band, we intend to live out our motto. We want to extend a special thank you to our president, the executive of our cons conference, and the IC IBC for the financial investment in the band, which will allow us to outfit the band with new instruments. Thank you. Our aim is to grow from strength to strength and extend our musical witness and ministry within our local conference and beyond. Our ministry is not only a musical ministry, but we also focus on building up the emotional, spiritual, social, and physical lives of our youth. Our marches, rap sessions, hikes, and social events will cater to the needs of our bandsmen as we strive to produce well-rounded Christian young people who will serve God and others in ministry. We look forward to your continued support of the band. We will continue to draw on your resources to shape this band, which now will boast of approximately 60 strong active members. At this point, I will call on Mr. Tristan Williams, who is our recruitment officer, who has served as our recruitment officer for the intake 16. Protocol being established. Good afternoon, everyone. This recruiting program has been one of ups and downs. But I'm happy to see that these lovely young people made it to the end. I'm also pleased to say that most of them who started this process are here in front of you preparing to cross the finish line. I can't go on without stating that these persons here were hardworking, committed and dedicated to this process. I can't recall any time I heard or saw any of the recruits complain or fret about anything that happened or did not happen. And for me, this is something that needs commending. As was mentioned earlier, this program faced some challenges. And because of this, the recruits were not able to pass out before the Independence Parade something that all bandsmen look forward to being a part of. But there's a saying, disappointment is an opportunity for resilience, wisdom, and personal growth. Embrace it as a stepping stone to your success. With this disappointment of not being able to play for the 2023 Independence Parade, when the idea was brought to go on the parade as a detachment, it was embraced and welcomed open arms. I must say, this might sound a little biased, but I can say it nonetheless, 
one of, if not the sharpest attachment on last year's career. Was that of the recruits of the Barbados Falcon Bank. And for those of you who are looking at my notes, because you're cheering when I have cheer here in back. And the wider public, you all can attest to this. It was a great showing by the troops, for real. I have that here. I believe that there was some level of disappointment, but the resilience in every member of this batch came to the forefront. I want to take this opportunity to say to each and every one of you, how you deal with disappointments determines the outcome of your life. Remember, hold fast to God and he will always see you through. Another highlight of this program was the dedication of the recruits to their drill and music. Even though sometimes I would wonder who taught them drill based on some of the things and movements I saw. I must say, what I really admired about this group is the way they practice together before and after sessions. There have been times I have visited some churches and saw the recruits going through the paces that they were taught at practice. And this is a testament to their dedication and commitment. This effort and dedication, however, was also brought over to the area of music, especially when they received their instruments. I saw sides of some recruits. I didn't, and I would even say, I don't think they also knew they had. I challenged one, actually, I challenged some of them, and they accepted the challenge and did exceptionally well. At this point in time, we're going to talk about one situation, I won't call his name, but he was in his section and they were playing. And they said to him, Man, you don't play nothing? You're just looking real pretty with that instrument. And the recruit said to me, Sir, you mean? Let me show you, man. And the young man took up his instrument and played the entire song in front of him. He played it and he read it. When he did that, he finished off by saying, Sir, when I first came, he didn't do nothing. <laughs> look at me now. Yeah. Huh? It's practice, sir. Yeah. And I can say that it's evident that all of these recruits would practice whenever they got a chance. And I know that some parents here can agree because some of you are complaining about the noise they made in the house. I also remember the first time I heard the recruits play a song together. I was so impressed. I almost cried. Um, before the tears, but I almost cried. I felt like I felt the need to cry. And if I'm being totally honest, I was so shocked, and I could not believe that these young persons, who just received instruments a couple of weeks before, were playing a song together. It shows the commitment, the dedication, and the zeal that each and every one of them displayed during this process. As I close. I just want to say, you have made all of us proud. But the journey has only now begun. As you embark on this new chapter of your band journey, I want you to always remember why you signed up and why you were here. The attributes you brought and the skills you have been taught, always hold fast to them. Most of all, remember that the God above is proud of you as well. And he will always see you through, especially after making a decision like this. You have made the step to use your talents and skills for him in playing for his glory. And because you have made that step, once you keep him in the forefront of your life, you will see the marvelous results he will bestow upon you. I am very proud of all of you. And it was really a pleasure and an honor being your recruiting officer. Mr. Williams, signing out. Thank you. That was Mr. Tristan Williams, the recruiting officer. We know pay our attention now over to the recruits as they go into their drill display.
Brian Prince, no reporting to the band leader. Who will take over to do the drill display. Please remember not to block. so that the recruits can hear the instructions given by the office in charge. before which shows how the recruits were all at the beginning stage of this journey the training this evening for this evening phase two is titled after and this will be the actual display showing what they have done or learned during the drill program so this part that you're seeing is called phase one which shows you how the recruits were before when they first joined the band. there are an odd number or even number yeah sometimes that happens when you are falling in when you are going in open order some people actually forget their numbers some people don't even turn yeah some people don't turn some people don't know the left from the right <laughs> they, they get confused get confused All right. <laughs> this particular section of drill requires them to do front, center, and rear. And at times you forget if you're at the front, center, or rear. And especially if somebody has dropped out of the, the, the parade. That's correct. Right. 
<laughs> that comment. And you have the, the sharp person to the band the normally don't see. There's so many persons in front of them. We all learn that the beauty of drills is to stand still after every movement. So that means no fidgeting. No fidgeting whatsoever. And we always hope you don't stand in an ant's nest. That's true. <laughs> well, the parents are into it. The parents know what it was before and what they expect now. Then. That is correct. But one of these evenings, you must have the parents also go on the parade square. Yes. Let's see what they're made of. And show us their skills. You might get a lot of before too. <laughs> Maybe always before. See at times when you are drilling, you move your left foot with your right hand. But sometimes some persons move their left hand with their left foot. <laughs> and it looks like you're drilling a robot. I tell you. So after you've gone through so much months of practice, you'd expect you to get it perfect. So this is now after, after the fact that you are trained and you are now going to execute what you have learned. Okay then. standing erect. We're doing it right this time.
precision it is called. Yes, you want to ensure that the recruits can hear the officer. So we're asking you to be a little quieter so that the recruits can hear the officer giving the commands. This move allows the recruits to change direction, but not formation. Okay.
brings us to the end of the display for the recruits and this is the drill display all right parents i know you want to capture every moment but please remember that we are here to tell everybody what's happening so give us the opportunity to do that please remain behind the black rope please to give us our future address is none other than the president of the East Caribbean Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, Pastor Anthony Hall. Let's welcome him with a big round of applause. The protocol for this meeting has been established, but I wish to mention a few persons as I begin. I would like to welcome the Minister of Labor, not only for his portfolio as a member of Parliament, but as a proud member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Barbados. To all pastors and other leaders of the church here assembled, it's a privilege for me to be standing here this afternoon to have taken the salute and inspected the troops at your passing out parade. I have to say, although it has been more than 45 years ago, it is all too fresh in my mind the occasion on which I myself was inducted to the ranks of a military type marching band. This may surprise some of you, but I became a member of the number three company cadet band at Waterford in 1979. It may also surprise some of you that I played trumpets, tubas, and euphoniums on several school parades and association with the Royal Barbados Police Force Band at independence parades between 1979 and 1986. So I speak today as one who knows a little bit about the activities in which you are engaged as members of a marching band and when you do sit as a sitting orchestra. I must say that you have done yourselves all and your instructors very proud and that your immaculate smartness and well-bearing on parade recommends you highly as persons who have been well trained. It also gives me great pleasure to stand before this parade as I induct, or we induct rather, 39 young people into the pride and ranks of our National Pathfinder Band. You are joining an organization which boasts of more than 53 years of illustrious, illustrious history. The first Pathfinder Band, better known as the Government Hill Pathfinder Band, having been established in 1971 under the directorship of Pastor George Graves and assisted by brothers Orville and Grafton Marshall, and the training at the time was done by Mr. Trevor Peterson and Mr. Springer. Yes. 
Training at the time was done by Mr. Trevor Peterson and Mr. Springer of the Barbados Regiment. They all would have been very proud of each of you here today to know that their sacrifices were not in vain and that you stand here to take forward the same legacy that they started five decades ago. I must point out and mention the name for a particular note um, and commendation and celebration, that of Mr. Trevor Peterson. After all these years, is still with the band providing guidance and meritorious service. We thank him for his tour of duty and for his labor of love. So to our young men and women on parade, our new recruits, I have come here to welcome you all into the ranks of the Barbados Pathfinder Band in this colorful ceremony under the theme Resilience. The journey continues. I congratulate you for the choice you have made to pursue what I call a career of service in our church's paramilitary forces. In taking a decision to join this organization, you have accepted a high call to duty among the youth of our church. As you pass out today, you join a unique group of persons who serve their church as national music ministers. You have accepted to abide by the requirements of exceptional discipline, honor, loyalty, and extraordinary commitment to your youth department, your church, its people, and I dare say by extension, the nation and people of Barbados. It is no secret that citizens not affiliated with our church show up at independence parades to watch you and to be entertained by you. Do not underestimate the value you have to the nation of Barbados and its people. I am sure that you've received the best training and you are instilled with the noblest values associated with Pathfinder life. You have been drenched in those values of discipline, honor, and loyalty. As you merge into the existing band today, you must realize that these are not just words. And I thought that today I should take some time to emphasize at least two of these values. Number one, be disciplined. Discipline is paramount and cardinal hallmark of your life in any sphere. It applies to all aspects of your service. The band is a family unit, an integrated whole where all members depend on each other for the best performances and outcomes. Whether marching in time or in line, or maintaining rhythm and beat, if one member fails or falls out of step, it reflects on the entire movement. A simple act of ill-discipline, even if it relates to punctuality, cleanliness, order, and personal conduct, cannot be tolerated or, cannot be tolerated or accommodated because it breeds a culture that will result in serious consequences for the entire unit. Any military or paramilitary force with a poor disciplinary record will perish. Hence, our collective responsibility to create an effective and efficient force that is capable of representing the organizational properly with pride and with dignity. You cannot serve yourself. Togetherness is key to good performance. Move together as one. This requires you to adhere to dedication and discipline in your service. Number two, serve with honor. Now, honor is defined in English dictionaries as personal integrity and allegiance to a higher moral principle. In the ordinary sense of the word, to serve with honor, dignity, courage, and integrity means that you as an individual must show allegiance to what is right and must conform to a standard of conduct that shows your true worth, display bravery, and be honest. As a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and a Christian, however, honor is a matter of spiritual and righteous living. It is not merely a civic attribute. It is both a God-given and God-required trait. According to the biblical world order, honor transcends superficial respect of regime, elevating itself to the high pedestal of divine expectation from mankind. The Bible talks about how important it is to live a life that honors God. By showing love and respect to our fellow human beings, by forgiving and supporting each other, and by offering help and guidance to those who are in need. Honor, therefore, in the scriptures is often associated with the virtues of integrity, 
righteousness and respect. For instance, a person embodying honor in the biblical sense of the word will maintain, will maintain integrity sorry, even when no one is watching because they are conscious of their accountability to a higher authority and in that context recruits that higher authority is God. So I tell you today that as a church, we are tremendously proud of each and every one of you for having taken this noble decision. You have shown by answering the call to duty that you are willing to subject yourselves to the discipline and hard work that comes with it. The challenges that you have set yourselves by joining the Pathfinder Band is to ensure that ongoing purpose of the existence of the band and the objectives of the band are met. By joining today, you therefore commit to these ideals of the band. One, to adhere to the aims and objectives of the Youth Department of the East Caribbean Conference of Seventh-day Adventists as laid down by its constitution, its bylaws, and its administration. Two, to deepen the influence of Christian message in the lives of Adventist youth. Three, to educate members, your members of the band and members in general, along lines which would assist in the proper development of personal spirituality, physically, emotionally, socially, and intellectually adaptable. Provide appropriate music for church and territorial activities. Train youth to develop their musical abilities. Encourage participation in outreach projects coordinated by the church and community-based organizations. Of course, to develop a high standard of discipline amongst its members and also to pursue such other matters as the executive committee of the conference may deem fit and necessary in consonance with the youth department's policies and objectives. Your performance and good conduct during training shows that you came here willing to become examples of what the best and finest of the youth ministry represents for Seventh-day Adventism. I am hopeful that you will continue to behave and will carry yourselves in a manner that will make the youth ministry department, your parents and the entire church membership extremely proud of you. We want to thank your parents, family members and friends, some of whom are here today for releasing you to belong to the national body of the Adventist volunteers. Your decision is to be here is not yours alone and reflects on your parents' love their guidance, their encouragement, and their support. We want to thank these parents, friends, and well-wishers for your upbringing that has been your first training and qualifying you to be standing here today. I want to take the time to mention that some of you I looked at today, and I'm extremely pleased to think that, well, at one level, some of you were babies in arms when I prayed for you and when I dedicated you to the Lord. It not only makes me feel proud that you are standing here today as young adults taking your place in the church, but the truth of the matter is, it dates me and tells my age. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to congratulate the recipients of any and all special trophies and awards in particular. The one who has achieved the accolade of being the best overall recruit. At the appropriate time, the name will be announced and the award will be given, but I will keep the name for the moment in secrecy. Your achievement does not go unnoticed, particularly because you bear the same birth month and I believe the same birth date as the president of the conference. We acknowledge you today for this outstanding achievement. Your progress from now and throughout your career will be closely monitored. Congratulations and keep up the excellent work. Your own future is in your hands. Let me also express my sincere gratitude to the trainers for their leadership, guidance, and unwavering support for the duration of the training. In particular, I'd like to mention Mr. Tristan Williams, Mr. Trevor Peterson, Mr. Kyle Roach, and Mistress Yvette Grinch, and all others who contributed in whatever way to the outcomes which we see here today. In conclusion, I wish to extend my sincere thanks to all the guests and family members and assure you that your sons and daughters are in good hands in the Barbados Pathfinder Band family. May you enjoy the rest of the time spent here with us and please have a safe journey home when the time comes. May God bless you.
We thank our president, President Anthony Hall, for his kind remarks. At this time, we will have the presentation of certificates and awards. Of course, no program can be efficient and effective without the participation and consent of parents and the members of the recruiting set this evening must be proud to have their parents and the guardians here with them. Yes, I would also like to make mention here that this afternoon as Mr. Pearson Springer leads out as the master of ceremonies for this evening, I also want to inform you that he was one of the independence honorees in 2022 for the Barbados Service Award in which he took part in the Seventh-day Adventist Path in the Ministry for over 30 years. So we just want to congratulate him for that achievement as well. Well, that, that dates me a little bit like, like Pastor Hall, but uh, a lot. <laughs> All right. But the, the parents um, will always be standing tall when it comes to a program like this. And you heard from at least two of them this evening, Paul Mears and Vernon Price, about their feelings and encouraging other persons to join this program. And this is something that we, we must treasure because there's so many things happening in this country today um, that is causing people. Oh, and after they receive their certificates, they will go to my right, your left, to collect their instrument. Adam Joseph. Adam is the head boy of the Barbados Seventh-day Adventist Secondary School. He enjoyed parades at a very young age and longed to become a member of the Barbados Pathfinder Band. Adam loves playing the piano, which he says relaxes him. He was introduced to the trombone and is also getting to enjoy it. Adam loves sports and also marching. He is eagerly awaiting the moment to pass out and become a full member of the band today. Isaiah Roach. Isaiah is 14 year old, a, who attends the Barbados Seventh-day Adventist Secondary School is a testament to dedication, discipline, and innate musical talent. Introduced to the alto saxophone on June 27, 2021, he has a profound understanding of the intricate language of melodies and harmonies. Isaiah is committed to sharing the love of Jesus through music. Avery David. Avery is a dedicated economic student at the University of the West Indies. Balancing his love for farming, basketball, and academic research, he thrives on learning new things and spiritual growth. Kaelian Grains. Kaelian is a 17-year-old boy who attends the Barbados Sunday Adventist School. He's a part of the band recruit and goes to Advent Avenue Seventh-day Adventist Church, where he's a member of the media team. He helps set up for church and open-air services, which he finds enjoyable. He loves to watch football and supports the Liverpool team. And most importantly, he loves God and wants to be his servant. Deshae Hunt, a former student of the Bridgetown Sunday Adventist Primary School and the George Lemon Primary School, and now completing her last year as a student of the Springer Memorial Secondary School. She's a member of the Avon Avenue media team. She loves watching anime and reading manga. She loves taking photos and is very good at art. She's a student of Gentle Steps Academy where she's proficient in singing and acting and is one of their best dancers. Your 2020 recruit for the Barbados Pathfinder Band, the Shea Hunt. Dominic Holder. Born on February 18, 2005, Dominic Holder is a past student of the Bridgetown Sunday Adventist Primary School and the Barbados Sunday Adventist Secondary School. He's currently enrolled at the Barbados Community College in the pre-engineering program. Dominic is a member of the East Point Seventh-day Adventist Church. 
He completed a Pathfinder program in 2023 and is currently enrolled in a Master Guide program and a counselor in the Bible Blazers Pathfinder Adventure Club. Dominic loves sports with his main passion being volleyball in which he plays several positions for the Blazers Volleyball Club. He aims to be a mechanical engineer and see others along with him south in God's kingdom. Enrico Brown. Enrico attends the best school in Barbados. The Combermere School. <laughs> I'm sure President would agree with him. <laughs> he has been very enthusiastic about the Carpenter Band from the age of six. And last but not least, Enrico Brown is ready to become a bandsman. Ethan Holder. Ethan was born on November 5th, 2009. He's a past student of the St. Ambrose and Bridgetown Sabine Adventist Primary Schools. He is currently a four form student at the Barbados Sabine Adventist Secondary School. He's a member of the East Point Sabine Adventist Church and the Bible Blazers Pathfinder Club. His love for sports is varied and includes football, basketball, and especially volleyball. He is currently one of the settlers setters for the Blazers Volleyball Club. Ethan's goal is to become a professional footballer, volleyballer, or chef. He's also a young preacher who loves to proclaim God's message. His greatest aim is to make it to heaven and see his friends there. Hajari Brown. Hajari is a progressive, studious individual who always challenges himself to a new adventure. He has architectural skills and mechanical abilities venturing out in these fields. His hobbies include basketball, music, and cooking. Hajari loves working in Pathfinders and is keen on organizing activities. He's currently a junior counselor with the Advent Avenue Adventure Club. Isaac Sinrose. Ward. Isaac is a third form student at the Barbados Sunday Adventist Secondary School. He's a member of the Breath of Life Sunday Adventist Church where he serves as a chorister. He aspires to be a medical doctor on the, unless the Lord has other plans for his life. He is in a, he's a member of the ASI Mission 2000 and beyond and has been given the opportunity to preach in the country of Colombia in 2023. Panama this coming August, and of course, Barbados. Isaac has taken a keen interest in the Bible, roller skating, volleyball, riding his bicycle, and playing musical instruments such as the piano, the tongue drum, and now the cornet. He hopes to add value to the Barbados Pathfinder Band and enhance the worship of the Lord using his instruments. Amen. Isaiah Graves. Isaiah is an exceptional child of God. He attends the Black Rock Seventh-day Adventist Church and the Bridgetown Seventh-day Adventist Secondary School. Blessed with intelligence, wit, and boundless energy, he takes immense pleasure in the discipline, physical, physicality, and rhythmic melodies of the Pathfinder Band. Being proud of his trombone personality, Isaiah aspires to be a true servant of God and a friend to man. Isaiah Thompson. Isaiah has a passion for sports, technology, and music. He has enrolled in music as a drummer since he was four years old and enrolled in track and field from eight years old. He is currently a drummer at the Government Hill SEA Church, a media member of the media team and a recruiting member of the Barbados Pathfinder Band. Isaiah Cox. Isaiah is a 14-year-old student at the Barbados Sunday Adventist School. His favorite subject is English. He's a member of the Ebenezer Sunday Adventist Church, working in the media department. He enjoys football, basketball, road tennis, and playing FIFA. He also loves to listen to music. These artists include Kendrick Lamar, Metro Booming, a producer. He aspires to be a professional footballer for the Arsenal team as he's an ardent fan. He is pleased to become a member of the Barbados Pathfinder Band and looks forward to playing to the best of his ab ability. Isaiah Bourne. 
Isaiah is a forefront student of the Bridgetown Seventh-day Adventist Secular School and attends the SCA Church for the deaf and hard of hearing. He attended the Adventure and Trailblazers Pathfinder Club at Ephesus Church. Isaiah is a graduate of the Junior Fire Cadet po Program and serves as a multimedia operator for the conference, his church, and his school's student council media teams. Two of his hobbies are playing football and using the computer. He has a passion for drums, but the Pathfinder Band has shown him that there's more than just drums. He's a clarinet player who is still hoping at some point in time to be a drummer in the band. Jaden Burke Gooding. Jaden is a baptized member of the Government Health Sunday Adventist Church and is a four-form student at the large school. He is a member of the media team at Government Hill Sunday Adventist Church and a junior counselor with the Beacons Pathfinder Club. Jalea Price. Jalea is a 15-year-old student at the Barbados Sunday Adventist Secondary School and a member of the Maranatha Sunday Adventist Church. She has always had a love and interest in music, and that led her to the interest she has in the steel plant. Pan. Given that her siblings are part of the band, it was a clear decision for her to recruit as well. She's willing and ready to minister through music in the Pathfinder Band. Jadon Master. 13-year-old Jadon is a second form pupil of the Barbados Sunday Adventist School who has loved music from a very early age. He enjoys playing the drums, football, and gaming. He's always desired to be a part of the Pathfinder Band after witnessing its performance at an independence parade 10 years ago. It was further cemented after witnessing his sister complete the recruitment program in 2015. Jason Craig. Jason is a dedicated, self-directed, driven, and foreign-thinking individual with over 13 years experience in farm management and crop production. He thrives in collaborative environments and is always eager to learn and grow. In his free time, Jason enjoys hiking, cycling, and spending time with his family. Jaden Lewis. Jaden is a former student of the Eagle Hall Primary School and now completing his last year as a student of the Princess Margaret Secondary School. He's a member of the Avon Avenue media team. He loves gaming and watching funny clips online as has shown his interest in becoming a mason in building construction. Your 2023 recruit for the Barbados Pathfinder Band, Jaden Lewis. Joash Yearwood. Joash is a member of the Venture Sunday Adventist Church. Joash is one of the trained deacons in the church as well as one of the sound system coordinators. Joash shows exemplary leadership skills and has often been at the forefront of organizing activities for the upkeep and care of the church. Josiah Brathwick. Mr. Brathwick is enthusiastic. Whatever his goals are, he makes sure they are accomplished. Like most, his journey in life has not been an easy one. Nevertheless, having overcome some challenges and keeping that faith in God, knowing he would make a way, Josiah has been able to achieve some of his goals, thus one of them being here today. Amen. Josiah Worrell. Josiah, affectionately known as Joe, is a full form student of the Barbados Sunday Adventist Secondary School and a member of the Heavenly Hands Pathfinder Club at Holders Hill Sunday Adventist Group. In his spare time, he enjoys football, volleyball, and basketball. Josiah's interest in music began at an early age playing the piano and has grown into a passion for drumming. From the age of eight, Josiah has been patiently waiting to become of age to join the Barbados Pathfinder Band 
And so today we know he is eagerly awaiting this moment. And so today we present to you your 2023-24 recruit for the Barbados Pathfinder Band, Josiah Leon Worrell. Kai Watkins. Kai is a 16-year-old who attends the Barbados Sunday Event Secondary School. He started his musical journey on December 25th, 2023, after being introduced to the Euphonian. Kai hopes to continue making musical milestones as well as retaining, remaining committed to using his talents for God. Keontae Lucas. Keontae Lucas is a 14-year-old student at the Christ Church Foundation School. He loves pathfinding and has been a pathfinder for the past four years. He currently serves as a captain of the Melbourne Magnificent Pathfinder Club. He loves the Lord and wants to, wants to serve him with his whole heart. Kenita Walker. Kenita is 15 years old. She attends the Advent Avenue Sunday Adventist Church and is a preacher for God. A student of the Alling School, where she's a sub prefect and a public relations officer of the Barbados National Student Council. Leah Mayers. Leah is 16 years old and a member of the Avon Avenue Sunday Adventist Church. Leah is an active member of the Avon Avenue Community Services and a member of the Berea Pathfinder Club. Leah is a student of the Springer Memorial Secondary School where she is studying CXC Sciences, Chemistry, Biology and Physics. She represents the school in netball which is her favorite hobby. Leah loves animals and is desirous of becoming a veterinarian. Linda Johnson. Linda worships at the Sugar Hill Seventh-day Adventist Church. Her hobbies are singing, playing, listening to music, and timbre dance. She currently ministers with the Barbados Gospel Fest Choir and God's Anointed. Michaelia Matsu. Michaelia is a student of the Barbados Sunday Adventist Secondary School. Her favorite subjects are English, mathematics, and computer science, as she desires to pursue a career in computer programming. She is deeply engaged in her church and school and serves in various capacities at the Marlapa Sunday Adventist Church. Michaela loves the seal pan so much so that it's not a no a norm for her family to be awoken at the strangest hours by seal pan melodies. With her fervor for music, she dedicates herself to honing her skills, aspiring to minister faithfully for the glory of God. Misha Blackman. 15 year old Misha is a four form student of the Barbados Sunday Adventist Secondary School. He is a member of the Advent Avenue Sunday Adventist Church, where he enjoys participating in community projects, field work, playing the saxophones, saxophone in the church band, and preaching. Misha loves to watch and play sports such as cricket, basketball, and football. Wanting to improve his skill as a saxophonist, coupled with his love for pathfinding. Encourage him to sign up as a recruit to join the Barbados Pathfinder Band. Michael Bryant. Michael is the co son of Richard and Swan Bryant. He's a 15 year old student at the St. Michael School. He's the captain of the school's volleyball team and is a school prefect. Michael loves science, reading, and having intellectually stimulating discussions. Additionally, he's a member of the Maranatha Sunday Adventist Church. He joined the band last year with a need to gain much needed wisdom and be skilled in music and all it has to offer. 
With the enthusiasm and determination to give back, he will enhance the band in his future endeavors. He wholeheartedly welcomes the prayers from his loved ones, knowing that God is the only one who fashioned good works within us. Nathaniel Gray. Nathaniel, born on March 6, 2009 to Patricia and her own Greenwich, is a 15-year-old full-form student of the Barbados Sunday Adventist Secondary School. His academic pursuits are accompanied by a fervent enthusiasm for English language, building technology, music, and technical drawing. Beyond the classroom, Nathaniel's passions extend to music, football, and basketball. Now a member of the Barbados Pathfinder Band, Nathaniel aspires to master the clarinet and utilize his musical talents to spread the gospel. His ambition extends beyond proficiency in one instrument. He seeks to broaden his musical repertoire and maintain an unwavering commitment to his musical journey. Nikolai Bedford. <laughs> Nikolai is a persistent, inquisitive, and energetic recruit who is very excited about becoming a member of the Barbados Pathfinder Band. He has a strong sense of family and loves being a part of the welcoming community. He loves and fears God and through his, this opportunity will seek to bring honor and glory to his name. Amen. Okay. Nicole Burnett. Nicole years old and currently attends the Christ Church Foundation Secondary School. Nicole desires to join the Barbados Pathfinder Band because he loves to play music. He loves seeing the band on parade and deeply wanted to be a part of that someday. Watching the band play and becoming a recruit made him remember how much he loves music, maybe, maybe listening or playing. Renisa Smith. Renisa is a four-form student at the Barbados Sunday Adventist School and a member of the Maranatha Sunday Adventist Church. She's a guide in the Maranatha Eagles Pathfinder Club and has always had a passion for cooking. She loves to try new things and she is very adventurous. Samuel is a 16-year-old young man with a bright future ahead of him. He is naturally gifted and can achieve with the help of God all to which he sets his mind. He has a passionate love for children and also the elderly. He's always ready and willing to give his time in service to assist these two groups of people. He's a member of the Breath of Life Church and enjoys the role of one of the choristers. Samuel is also a junior counselor in the Adventure Club. These are roles that he readily embraces. He loves basketball and now his new passion, playing the trombone. Samuel hopes one day to work in the field of accounting. Shell Boeing. Shell is a four-form student of the Barbados Sunday Adventist School, secondary school and a member of the Indian Ground Sunday Adventist Church. He is a voyager in the Roosevelt Pathfinder Club and has always had a passion for music, thus propelling him to recruit playing the alto saxophone. He's ready to use his musical talents to God's ability through the Pathfinder Club. Pathfinder Band, sorry. Shania Wood. Shania is 15 years old and she attends the Barbados Sunday Adventist School. Her hobbies are singing, cooking, and playing the clarinet. Shania aspires to be a medical doctor in the future. Shien Norval. A former student of the Bridgetown SDA Primary School and now completing his last year as a student of St. Leonard's Boys School. 
He is a member of the Advent Avenue Media Team and the Communications Committee. His school recommended he join the hockey team, the UE Blackbirds, which he shows an interest in. He loves gaming, watching anime, and watch reading manga, and has said publicly, I want to use my voice for God. Your 2023 recruit for the Barbados Falcon Band, Sheehan Norville. Zachary Joseph. Zachary is a pro third form student of the Barbados Seventh-day Adventist Secondary School. He began his journey in the youth department programs of the church in Adventures and presently the Pathfinders program. Zachary loves music, cycling, and playing basketball. He's happy today and is eagerly anticipating being a full-fledged member of the Barbados Pathfinder Band. Michelle Codrington. Michelle has rejoined the band as a flautist after a long hiatus involving study, work, and travel, and life in general. She was a drummer in the Pathfinder Band of yesteryear and along the way took the opportunity to learn the flute, saxophone, and obey through the LSD School's music program. Michelle is presently a member of the Maranatha Eagles Master Guide and a counselor in the Eagles Pathfinder Club, where she is dedicated to using her talents and gifts in the service of God. Okay, that brings us to the end of our list. Let's get a low round of applause for Intake 16. We now have our special awards. This is a moment that you have all been waiting for. Now we have a special award presented for Enrico Mon in recognition for the composition of the song C.P.O. Peterson dedicated to Mr. Chief Trevor Peterson for his unwavering service and dedication to the Barbados Pathfinder Band at the passing out parade of Intake 16, Mr. Enrico Mon. We ask Mr. Enrico Moy to join us here at the front for his special award. Enrico Mon. Maybe again for those who didn't hear, in recognition for the composition of the song. C.P.O. Peterson, dedicated to Chief Trevor Peterson for his unwavering service and dedication to the Barbados Pathfinder Band. Mr. Peterson has always been around the Barbados Pathfinder Band. And so this recognition to Chief Petty Officer Peterson is something that he must be standing very proud and tall for. And also again, congratulations to Enrico, one of our upcoming composers of music in the Barbados Star Band. Mr. Our next award goes to Chief Petty Officer Chief Trevor Peterson in recognition of your unwavering service 
and dedication to the Barbados Pathfinder Band. We commemorate your legacy with the song CTO Peterson, written by Andrew Coman at the Carson Up Parade of Intake 16. Isaiah Roach, and this is celebrating. This is a recruit in celebration of your remarkable achievement as the first recruit to compose a song for the Passing Up Parade ritual here in Earth Day tomorrow. We commend your creativity and talent for the song "Love Will Be Our Home." And born on October the eighth, I'm told to say, <laughs> the birthday of the president. So let's give them both a round of applause. Seems our greatness is born on that day. Okay, this is to our recruits, our most improved recruit, Kenita Walker. Lovely glass creations that you're seeing were done by glass creations. They're All lovely. Right. All right. Mr. Fabian Brown. Yes. Our assistant band leader. He didn't tell me to say this. <laughs> our best recruit in drill, Nicole Burney. Next, we have our best. Our best recruit in music, beginners. Kai Watkins. Our recruit with the best attendance, Joash Yearwood. <laughs> Our best recruit in music advance, Isaiah Roach. <laughs> And while he's at the podium, our best recruit for intake 16, Isaiah Rowe. There you have it, all the presentation of awards to the recruits of Intake 16 for the year 2024. Give them one more round of applause. At this time, we are preparing for a musical presentation by the recruits. Right next to us, where the microphones can pick up everything. Yes. But now the recruits will be given their instruments. And I'm sure that the parents and the well-wishers who are here will enjoy this item 
which will be presented by the recruits. Annoyed by the playing, <laughs> but I'm sure that this afternoon that the quality of music that will come from the recruits will just show them all of the practice and hard work that these recruits would have put into learning their instrument and also executing this item of music. And they indeed have been refined and they are now ready to move to the next phase of their life. And all of the noise that they would have kept at home before is now melody. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So some of the instruments that I'm actually seeing, the recruits receiving, would be the cornets. I do see trumpets. Um, the, the, there's actually a difference between the cornet and the trumpet. One is actually longer than the other. Okay. Um, I also see trombones, mm -hmm. clarinets. I see the saxophone, the soprano saxophone, the alto saxophone. We also see flutes being given out. And I see someone is actually playing a uh, tuba. Okay then.
Love will be our home by the recruits composed by Azir Rook. Well, we have the parents of the best recruit here with us. And I'm sure that they're waiting, they're standing by to say something to us. Yes, I just want to say that, say that, as you did an awesome job on recruits, you did a great job on that piece just now. It was beautiful. Well done. We are so proud of you. I concur with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Please remember, as this section happens, please do not rush onto the field. Please stay where you are. Do not move. Do not blink or you will miss it. Yes. Please stay behind the guidelines. And the drum major must play a real integral part in this amalgamation. Yes, he does. So the recruits will take up their position on the field. And the band will also take up their position on the field to prepare for the amalgamation of band and recruits. The band is playing the song Walk, Walk Holy. So with the drum major away from the band, who takes charge? Well, the drum major basically has the full control of band and recruits. However, because the band is not currently carrying the miss, the right drummer of the band, which this evening is Mr. Julius Seeley, takes control of the band until his amalgamated. Mm -hmm. Parents, please remember that others want to see as well. So the bad is no changing their formation to pick up the recruits. The band is now under the control of the drum major at this time. The drum major will now take his position once again in front of the band. The song being played is Land of Sea and Sun. 
and this is the last time that you will see this group as the band and recruits. Once the amalgamation is completed, they will become the band. Again, please not, do not go onto the field. And we have the music instructor, Mr. Carl Roach, directing the entire group. Don't blink now. Don't miss it now. Watch this now. Watch it, ladies and gentlemen. The amalgamation in full effect. has now taken up a form as one marching band. They will now go down to make a counter and return to their post. that the band just did is called a fan counter. It is different from the counter to the left. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the Barbados Pathfinder Band.
We'll now have our vote of thanks. And this vote of thanks is being done by Mrs. Pamela Eiffel. And she's a former assistant band leader. Master of Ceremonies, Mr. Pearson. Honorable Colin Jordan, Minister of Labor, Social Partnership Relations and the Third Sector. Pastor Anthony Hall, President of the East Caribbean Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Specially invited guests, band leader, Mr. Abraham Seeley, officers of the Barbados Pathfinder Band, bandsmen, no, they are no longer recruits, Band Parents Association, parents, well-wishers, members of the media. According to William Arthur Ward, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. It is therefore my distinct honor to move this evening's vote of thanks on behalf of the Barbados Pathfinder Band. First, a high note of praise and thanksgiving goes up to our supreme provider God, for without his mercy and grace, we could not be here. We thank him for his provision, protection, and providence. A special thank you to parent Samuel Boyne for invoking God's presence among us. To our esteemed president of the East Caribbean Conference, Pastor Anthony Hall, we express sincere thanks to you for making time for this occasion, despite your very busy schedule, and for so readily, readily and ably taking the salute and expect, inspecting the band and recruits, and also for delivering such a passionate and inspiring address. We assure you, sir, that we will continue to commit to the ideals of the East Caribbean Conference and serve our master with integrity. We extend heartfelt thank you to the Honorable Colin Jordan, Minister of Labor, Social Partnership Relations and the Third Sector, Assistant Youth Director, Pastor Jason Peters, our hardworking National Area Coordinators for Pathfinders and Master Guides, Mr. Patrick Bryant and Ms. Rosamond Haynes, respectively, Pastor Rolf Jackman, Stewardship Director of the East Caribbean Conference, Principal of the Barbados SDA Secondary School, Ms. Annette Allen, and Dr. Cheryl Weeks, Principal of the Bridgetown SDA Primary School, Business Manager of both schools, Ms. Anne Marie Boyce, and Mr. Carl Simpson, President of the Island Development Council. Your continued support of this band is much appreciated, and we look forward to strengthening the partnerships shared with all of you. We are extremely grateful to the East Caribbean Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, whose financial and other forms of support and guidance help to keep the Barbados Pathfinder Band on its track as we minister to our churches and the wider community in this island. To the Barbados SDA secondary and primary schools, we say thanks for continuing to assist us in supporting and housing us. A big thank you to our band parent association headed by President Miss Michelle Ward. Miss Ward, special thanks to you for your warm welcome and words of encouragement. We must specially thank the parents of Intake 16, 2024. You have stood beside and behind these new bandsmen and given them the encouragement and support that led them to today's success. For this, our sincere thanks. Thanks also to Glass Creations, Inc., Structural Systems, and Mr. Tristan Ford for the role played in this evening's proceedings. We extend our gratitude to the various media houses who provided coverage of this evening's event. East Caribbean Media, Nation Publishing, Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation, Barbados Today, and Mr. Ricardo Jones. Master of Ceremonies, Mr. Pearson Springer, and Mr. Julian Seeley, our sincere thanks are extended to you for once again bringing your unique flair to our passing out parade and ensuring that the various aspects of it were well covered and explained for all present. To all officers, instructors, 
section leaders and members of the Barbados Pathfinder Band, with special mention to the recruiting officers, congratulations on preparing and successfully executing today's parade. Special mention must be made of Ms. Kimberly Clark, former bandsman, Mr. Jason Catlin and Mr. Adrian Hurley of the Barbados Police Service Band, Mr. Gabriel Boyce, and Mr. Mark Husbands. Your assistance in preparing and training our band and recruits on the various instruments for this occasion is greatly appreciated. To you, Intake 16, 2024, congratulations and welcome to this special group of youth who use our skills and talents for the glory of our Lord and Master. To anyone and everyone who played any part in helping to make this personal parade the success it has been, a big and hearty thank you. We look forward to your continued support, encouragement and prayers as this band resiliently continues our journey to play with dignity, serve with integrity and win humanity for the kingdom of heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. We will also have at this time our closing prayer by Miss Pamela Ifo. Most kind and loving, gracious Heavenly Father, we pause at this time to thank you for your many blessings and mercies bestowed upon us. We thank you for the blessings of the day, dear Father. You provided us with with long light so we could come to the end of this parade. And Lord, many times we tend to forget the little things that you provide for us. Today, Lord, we want to thank you for every blessing, for every mercy. Lord, you brought these recruits through more than a year of training and you have kept them focused you've given them the knowledge and the skills that were needed to make this evening's program a success we thank you dear father for every member of this band all the new members in a special way dear father as they join this group of youth you said if we rightly train our youth lord that it will be an army to reckon with and so dear father we commit every member of this band into your hands we pray that you would bless the new members in a special way that they would be committed to the cause of using music, their father, as a means of winning boys and girls and men and women across the length and breadth of this island and beyond for your kingdom. We thank you for the parents, Lord, who have supported them throughout this journey. And I pray that they would continue to keep them prayed up, their father, keep their love and encouragement going before, because, Lord, we know that in these times it is not difficult to raise youth but if we train them in the right way that they should go, their father, you have said that they would not depart from it. And so, their father, we give you a high note of praise this evening as we look back on the year that has passed and we look forward to what is to come. We thank you, Lord, for the young musicians who are using their talents already to write music for you, their father, to bring honor and glory to your name. May you continue to give them what is needed to hone those talents, their father, that your kingdom will indeed be glorified. We thank you for all present here this evening. I pray that every adult here, dear Father, would take these young ones under their wings, that you would bless the leadership of this band, dear Father, and that you would give us what is needed to take these young people to the places that they need to go, dear Father, as we minister in music, not only in music, dear Father, but in the way we carry ourselves, even as we were challenged this evening to live lives that are seen as those of integrity before those that we minister to. And so, dear Lord, we thank you for all that you have done for us. We thank you for a wonderful evening's program, for all that went on, and Lord, for the wonderful thing that we've had here in your presence. 
I know as we pre prepare to go to our separate homes, we pray for your guidance and protection on the busy highways, dear Father, that you will take us to our places of abode in peace and safety. And as we continue, dear Father, to serve you, may we seek you with all our hearts where you may be found. And may you continue to bless us and keep us. For we ask these mercies in Jesus' name, we thank you, Amen. Amen. We're, we've come almost to the end of this evening's program. We've reached that point now where we will see the departure of the president of the conference. And we invite you to stand as we prepare for his departure, ladies and gentlemen. Well, with the president, also the reviewing officer having departed the parade, we will now have the march off of the band. and is playing to march off is way beyond the blues. This must be the biggest mass band by now in Barbados. <laughs> 